and it's a special treat for me because I'm a big fan of you on TCM. Uh, but welcome to Book Return and the museum uh, and uh, part of the Hollywood backdrop. Yeah, you know, I had uh, some uh, pretty high expectations, which always, you know, set you up for mm -hmm. some disappointment. But uh, uh, you've exceeded uh, already yeah. high expectations. This is really quite a place. I think it has this uh, it has this appeal for true deep dive cinephiles and for people who just like movies who will sort of leave slack jawed like right. you can't believe and every is, generation that's I mean, right yes right. oh definitely yeah. I mean, just this but it's a real mm -hmm. peek inside mm -hmm. uh, how these movies are made and a reminder I think the most the thing that I think is most important if anybody takes away from any of our intros on TCM like you know we talk about the stars we talk about the director we talk about the writers sometimes but uh, this is a collaborative process, and you were seeing collaborators who are so seldom mentioned and are so vital to, to these movies that we love. TCM is in the you know uh, curation business, and so one thing that has frustrated me about Hollywood over the last hundred years, and only beginning to change really in the last ten, is this recognition that these these movies and this art form uh, deserves to be taken seriously. I mean, it's crazy that it took 75 years to get an Academy Museum, right? And, you know, these, these things, so many of these, as you know, have been thrown away. So now there's this, we've reached a moment where we recognize that, that these movies, these films, they're, this is art that matters. This is art that's valuable. One of the proud moments is that we finally recognize those artists who uh, yeah. participated. Uh, and then you think of all the backdrops that were destroyed. Oh, my God, so many things that, you know, it took forever. It's, you know, Hollywood, the, the Academy Museum took forever. It took forever, even in Los Angeles, for this industry to recognize its own worth, mm -hmm. right? Its own value as art. And now finally there seems to be some recognition that, hey, let's, stop, let's stop crumpling things up and throwing them away. Right. This right. stuff matters. Right. Boca Raton's been in the media spotlight from the Wall Street Journal to the Hollywood Reporter, and it was such a thrill for me as a movie buff to see Turner Classic Movies' Ben Mankiewicz here talking to residents about the impact of these films and these beautiful set pieces. These backdrops are works of art of themselves, and it's so wonderful that they're here at the Boca Raton Museum of Art. My grandfather was a screenwriter and cursed his whole life by thinking he was making nonsense uh, stuff for the masses. And you want to go back in time and shake him and say, no, uh, this matters. This art form matters. This art form stands on its own. And exhibits like this re-emphasize that and remind people of that. A big shout out to University of Texas at Austin, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where most of these uh, backdrops have come from. Uh, Karen Maynes, Thomas Walsh, our great guest curators. So uh, there are a lot of people who went into this production. And all those people you mentioned, they recognize the value of these backdrops, and then they're useless unless people are seen. That's right. Right, they got to be seen. Right. It's great that Boca Raton is again in the global spotlight. And I, as a big movie buff, I'm thrilled to see these wonderful historic backdrops it's for everyone in our city to enjoy. I'm thrilled to have been asked. It's great to be here. Uh, I, I had some high expectations because you guys hyped it. And I thought, well, it could only be a little bit disappointing. But it has exceeded those high expectations. The Boca Raton Museum of Art continues to attract world-class exhibitions here from across the globe and art lovers of all types, whether it's golden artifacts from Machu Picchu to backdrops of beloved Hollywood movies. Can't wait to see what the Boca Raton Museum of Art has next. This show at the Boca Raton Museum of Art until late January, uh, you gotta come see it. This is not just for deep dive cinephiles. This is for anybody who has sat in a movie and wondered even for a second, How'd they do this? Uh, the, the, get, these are moments where you're going to leave slack jaw, recognizing what went in to making the movie magic that you see on screen.